Ball is in the air. We're underway here at Milan Pushkar Stadium. It's Marcus Sims on the return. Good coverage by the Wildcats. Sims only able to get to the 15-yard line. Massive win over Tennessee in the opener. Blew out Youngstown State a couple of weeks ago. And it's been a while. Here's Gary Jennings making a catch. And that's going to make it third and manageable. Jen third down and three. They're going to pick up the first down. David Sills moves the chains down to the 34-yard line. Opening series for the Mountaineers. Greer has all day to throw. Comes over the middle and is complete. There's Sims trying to spin out of a tackle at the 49. They'll move the chains again. Greer to throw again. Another deep shot. Looking for Sims. And that's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Parker. The sophomore out of Oklahoma. From A.J. Parker, the sophomore cornerback out of Bartlesville, Oklahoma. It's the second time on that opening series we saw Greer flow to pass. Yeah. Do here on third down and four. They bring some pressure off the edge. The run right up the middle is stuffed. Fourth down for K-State. No game. So they bring their bandit safety, Toyas Avery, off the edge. Means everybody in that defensive line slants right into where Kansas State is. Greer doesn't hurt West Virginia. Rodriguez to punt. Marcus Sims back to return and he's going to go out of bounds. He's looking to that side of the field again, but this time he finds Giovanni Haskins. The big tight end, the Miami transfer, picks up 15 yards and it's a first down. To go here, opening quarter. Letty Brown, the freshman, lost the football. Scramble for it. Who's got it? K State does. Second West Virginia oh, fumble recovered by the defense. First In down, Kansas trips. State. Time out on the field. Jordan Mitty, the defensive tackle, recovers for the Cats. Cylinders, or does it take you some time to get going? A basic handoff with the true freshman at tailback. Now another turnover for West Virginia this early on, and this is what K State wanted. And that's going to be a loss of a few on the play. Dalvin Warmack with his first touch and Dylan Tonkery. Thompson facing some pressure, dumps it off to Barnes, gets to the 40 and he's hammered down. Fourth down. Drayvon Askew Henry, the Spurs safety, making a tackle. First year punter Andrew Hicks comes on for K-State, a boomer. Lands at the two, checks up. Great kick by Andrew Hicks. Activity with, with that to the rest of my teammates. A leader at home as well. Oh, yeah. Got to ask you though, from a scenario standpoint, a back... Paul Caracatera and Will Greer, the Heisman candidate at quarterback, just completed the pass to Sims. He's got him again. And he gets loose inside the 20. Goodbye, touchdown. The first two series for the Mountaineers were dismal. But this is a quick strike offense, and Greer hits Sims for an 82-yard touchdown play. Greer hits Marcus Sims. It's his first touchdown catch of the year. And it's really the same play. Clay, they ran first down, just an easy completion, a little eight-yard stop to Sims. They come back, and it's a double move right off that initial first down play. Beautiful ball by Greer and Sims, way too fast down the field, running away from the Kansas State defense. I loved how they ran that play back to back and got the corner to sit. A.J. Parker playing DB for Kansas State. Skyler Thompson out of the gun. He's going to keep it. And there is nowhere to go. Trying to cut the corner on the near side, and he was just leveled. Toya Zavery, the bandit safety. See what offensive coordinator Andre Coleman draws up here on third down and six. Thompson, all kinds of time to throw that veteran O-line protecting him, but nothing downfield. Second straight three and out for K-State. This is Andrew Hicks, another boomer, backing Sims off. But now 
Gets loose to the middle of the field, slides down short of the 50. Spamadola, veteran play caller, stops a Cal and in Houston. And that's incomplete on third down and three in ball. They're no longer one dimensional. You know, he's brought a pass game to that offense. First punt for Billy Kinney of West Virginia. And Shelley on the fair catch. It's all said and done. Fake to Barnes, pass complete to Zuber, first down across the 30, down to the 32. Skyler Thompson handed They returned everybody up front. 129 career starts entering play today. That is caught by Zuber at the 43. These third down situations have been an Achilles heel. Thompson chased out of the pocket, still eyes downfield, he'll throw it away. Allows a free rusher to get home. Skyler Thompson nowhere to go with the football. Fourth punt for Hicks. And he drops it at the 21-yard line. The pitch to go before halftime. Greer looks to his left, throws. The slant route is complete. Caught at the 40 by Sims. He has been their best receiver today. That's another 10-yard pickup. Sliding up in the pocket. Greer gets in trouble, and down he goes. Sacked by Jordan Mitty, who's having a pretty good first half for the Wildcats. I love it from the Kansas State defense. They really showed an all-out blitz. Looked like everyone's going to blitz, and they drop out. Everyone pops out in coverage. Three for three along at 35. This is way outside of his normal range, though. A 51-yard attempt. Uh-uh. Evan Staley, who's career-long up to now 36 yards tries from 51 West Virginia comes up empty on the drive and the score remains seven to nothing got a couple answers <laughs> Alex Barnes in the backfield at Skyler Thompson trying to pick up the first down himself Let's see if they'll move the chains K-State hasn't converted a third down yet today Run quarterback sneak right at Kenny Bigelow, who is a transfer over to West Virginia from USC at 310 pounds or so. As a quarterback out of, as a coach, can we get something different in here? Bigelow has been terrific for West Virginia. And they didn't get it. He's going to get on 200 yards through the air. Draw play. Kennedy McCoy, big run up the middle. First down and more to the 25. Lee has a Red Bull addiction. <laughs> and they give it to the running back. McCoy again who streaks free to the pylon. Did he get in? Well, they're going to mark him out. Really on the field. About the one yard the runner was out of bounds was before the ball the broke the plane to the goal line. Completely collapses Kansas State. They get a couple pullers to get McCoy on the edge. And then big time effort just short of the goal line. They've rotated a couple of guys there. That snap went high, but here they get it in. Touchdown Mountaineers, it's David Sills. His third touchdown catch of the year. Play action. Thompson to the outside, incomplete. Well covered. Intended for Zuber, but Norwood was all over. Just 77 yards of total offense for K-State. Fair catch called for by Sims. He juggles it but hangs on at the 27. Let's see what the Heisman hopeful we have in this game could do here in a little bit of time. He's complete on his first pass to TJ Simmons on this drive. Pickup of 12 and a first down. Play in the backfield. Greer looks to the right, throws that way. It's Simmons again. He'll step out at the 42. And play action. Pocket collapsing, got rid of it. There's a nice catch by Jennings, who dropped a touchdown pass earlier in the quarter. That's a gain of 17. Still two timeouts, going to the end zone. Sills caught at the three, trying to wrestle his way into the end zone. Sills at the top of the screen. He's going to float one that way. Greer, on target, and what a catch. David Sills, his second touchdown grab, and he just mossed A.J. Parker. Is that what you're saying, Dano? In just 55 seconds, 
Sills with his second touchdown grab, and it's a thing of beauty. Well, the first touchdown was a slant route. Put him by himself, slant route. So now, in this situation, they put him out there by himself again. He takes a couple steps in, turns his head like I'm running a slant again. Of course, so thin because of injuries, and they are working around him. Deep shot, Thompson, caught. Isaiah Zuber sat down to make that catch at the 20-yard line. There's another play-action pass for Kansas State. Zuber probably supposed to be running a post. To Gibson, does he dial up a blitz? Here comes some pressure. Picked up to the end zone. Incomplete. Zach Reuter, the senior out of Columbia, Missouri. Yeah. Plays his own, and Kansas State not built to come back. Beautiful drive, and then two drop touchdowns oh. by sure-handed veterans for this offense. Those two passes has got to get caught. Now five foot five walk-on kicker Blake Lynch bangs it home from 25 yards out. He just earned it on first down. The fake to Petaway. Greer unloading has a man. Tevin Bush caught touchdown. Wow. You're right, you called it. They're gonna stay true to who they are, and that's letting Greer do what he does best. So many weapons. They put trips into the boundary, the offensive line, beautiful protection, and Tevin Bush, the sophomore from New Orleans. At his disposal, and Greer finds him. Justin Silman is gonna get his first carry for K-State. West Virginia says the ball came out and it did. Turnover Rolling on kicks the their first today. Fumble. Recovered by the defense. Reese Dowie, the defensive Virginia. end on the recovery for the Mountaineers. This offseason that we were not good last year. In fact, 107th in the country in total defense. And they have been using that to galvanize the unit this year. We can be better. We've got talent to be better. And so far in 2018, they have been. They've just been so athletic. So Greer, Sills, his third touchdown catch of the day. Simmons, who's had a great day here today. Three catches, 31 yards. Good run for Skylar Thompson. Like I said, it's really heavy as far as degree of difficulty on the back end. That's a wide open man at the 33. Caught by Dalton Schoen, his first reception, but then he lost the football. Are they going to mark him down there? Thompson feeling the heat. He's going to be sacked. David Long. Virginia defense, but they've been giving Thompson fits really all day. Well, it's but by design. They bring seven guys up to the line of scrimmage. Need the 16-yard line. Thompson's going to be tracked down from behind by Keith Washington, the former Michigan Wolverine. 30 minutes spent with him. He's going to sail into the end zone and do a touchback. 38 yards passing for Greer. And he throws his second interception. That was picked up by Jonathan Durham, the Kansas State nickelback. Running out underneath this route. It's almost like Will Greer didn't even see him. He cuts this ball loose with such confidence to David Sills and Durham. Just playing a buzz coverage, running underneath the out route. Delton comes in to run the offense for the first time for K-State. And he's a quick runner. And he gets into the secondary and inside the 20-yard line down to the 19. Bismol for the Wildcats. Play action. Delton, good speed. Gets around the corner, but now he's cut off. Out of bounds, fourth down. There's David Long. Darius Stills in pursuit for Lynch. He's also kicked from 25 and made it. He's having a good year. Athletic department janitor to help Kansas State for the first time. Of course, he was coerced back as Letty Brown makes 
the carry there. It's going to be fourth down here for West. Too much from Coach Snyder and how he's fought that disease. It's taught them that we're not going to complain about anything. If Coach can do it, we can do it. In tight spaces, and that's what we're seeing out of Will Greer, that ability to make those throws, move it in the pocket, quickly out of his hands. That's a big deal for me when I and decided how can I get better. And just that little change, that six-inch change in his step has allowed him to play at such an efficient level. There's another run for K-State. Offense so hard to come by today. They're well under 300 yards total offense. He's going to be in that conversation, had a big night, six touchdowns. We saw Will Greer today kind of answer that call. Another tackle for loss for the West Virginia Mountaineers defense. This time Jeffrey Pooler getting in the act. Nice to have Chad. In fact, I think Chad's here today. 50 yard attempt for Lynch. No. Didn't give it. Will's still in there. He's thrown five touchdowns today. He's got another long completion here to Marcus Sims, who does a nice dance to avoid some tacklers. Then he gets clotheslined at the 41 yard line. Down on the sideline earlier today. Talking football with his boy. That's intercepted. Jack Allison, the backup to Will Greer. Had it deflected and picked up by Jerron McPherson for K-State. State with Dwayne Haskins and all the weapons they have and now no longer being two-dimensional. And then Oklahoma, I've mentioned Kyler Murray and their weapons. The question for in QB and Bryce Love should be back to full speed tonight for Stanford. Zuber again over the middle and he's down at the 46-yard line. The series didn't look so hot, but boy, Will Greer and this offense impressive today. And there's another sack. The defense for West Virginia hasn't been too shabby either. Month of November. It's a meat grinder. Mm. Delton over the middle. And that's going to be thrown incomplete. But the conference is anybody. West Virginia, 3-0. And a college football playoff dark horse. What a treat to come to Morgantown today. Watch not only the West Virginia defense play at a high level, but get to see one of America's best quarterbacks and receiving groups play. Highlighted by Will Greer and David Sills.